Hello, my name is Andy Neptune with CTI, the Gas Detection Specialist. Today I'll be showing you how to calibrate our GG-NH3-250 ammonia gas detector. The range of the sensor is 0 to 250 parts per million, so you will need 250 parts per million gas in balanced air. You'll also need your 17 liter regulator, calibration hose, and your cup. You'll also need a multimeter that will read millivolt DC. To calibrate the GG-NH3-250, we first have to zero the sensor. In order to zero it, we have to put it in cal mode by coming to the zero pot and turning it a quarter turn back and forth, and you'll notice the power light blinking. We are now in cal mode, and as you can see on the output here of the multimeter, we're still at 40 millivolt DC. We're ready to go ahead and apply the calibration gas. Since this is a perfect zero, we can put on the calibration cup on the electrochemical sensor, and you'll notice the output is now changing. In a perfect world, this output would go to exactly 200 millivolt DC and that would be a perfectly calibrated sensor. Because this isn't a perfect world, we're probably gonna go somewhere up in the neighborhood of 185, 189 millivolt DC, and we'll want to adjust that when this slows down to 200. And so as you can see, we're starting to slowly get a little slower. We'll give it just a little bit longer. Now in the real world, we'll you'll go for two minutes with the calibration gas and you'll notice now it's substantially slowing down right out about a 192, 193. Okay, so now at this point is when you'll go ahead and make your adjustment there. So let's go ahead and put our expand pot and turn it slightly to the right and boost the gain up just a little bit. So as you can see right there, we're gonna be right on the money pull the calibration cup off. And notice your signal will now drop fairly quickly, which is a good characteristic to have for your ammonia gas sensors. You want to be able to clear your alarms uh, fairly quickly. If the, audi if the audible is uh, irritating someone, and so you'll notice that this will return back to 40.0 millivolt DC. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please call us at 866-394-5861 and we'll have someone standing by that can help you immediately. Thanks and have a great day.